Get any grenades? I've got two pound fifty on me. I don't know if I can get. Can I get anything for two pound fifty? Maybe a water pistol. Was it a nice day out? Was it, how was it in there? Was it nice? They've got some lovely ladies actually. So and it's great. They've got. Some, did you see any nice those nice ladies they've got selling the missiles? I once went for a job, but they said I wasn't good looking enough. There you go. Anyway, so here we are at the uh, Abu Dhabi National Exhibitions Company. <laughs> Lovely to see Abu Dhabi owning so much around here. It makes me feel really comfortable and multinational. Lovely. So um, it's been a day. Here we are at the, the day at the arms trade. I don't know what's been traded here. These guys. Um, what have you bought? Anything nice? What do they give you in those bags? Can you, do you mind telling us? So what do you get in those lovely takeaway bags at an arms trade? A couple of guns and a grenade. What have, they, what have you got in there, sir? Heroes wear hakes. Oh, lovely. Oh, yeah, it's very important when you kill people to make sure you've got the right footwear. Do you know what I mean? You don't want to be killing people with some crappy Primark stuff. When you kill people, you want the right type of footwear. Did you get anything nice, sir? Did you get anything nice? Buyer or seller? What are you, buyer, buying or selling? I sell beer. You sell beer? Cola. You sell beer in there? Yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. Someone's got to sell beer to the... the uh, well, what do you do? Buy or sell, sir? What are you, buyer or seller? Both. Both buying and selling arms. You don't look like an arms salesman. You look so very nice. Then what are you doing? What are you doing getting mixed up with arms sales? You have to protect people like you. You have to protect people like me. <laughs> really? <laughs> All right then. Okay, you carry on buying and selling arms. Don't worry about it. So what do they give you in those bags? So when you walk out of an arms fair, what are they actually in there? A couple of guns or what? What have you got in there? Mini shopping trolleys. Mini shopping trolleys. What are you going to do with that? <laughs> what are you going to do with a mini shopping trolley? Go, what, go buy some Smarties or something? Hand grenades. <laughs> hand grenades. That's right, always good to carry your hand grenades in a nice mini shopping trolley. Guys, how was it there today? Did you get any good business? What did you manage to sell? What do you sell? Do you mind? In torture equipment? I've had quite a fancy bit of torture equipment, though I into that. Did you do any torture equipment? Yes? Have you got any in there? Oh yes, I bet. Yes. Beautifully dressed, you arms traders, aren't you? <laughs> interesting, interesting. Uh, so, ladies and gentlemen, here we are outside the arms trade, and these guys, who, who have you been doing business with? What have you bought? Did you buy any good stuff? Uh, I don't know English. You don't know English. You know enough English to buy guns, bang, bang, don't you? Turkish, Turkish. Turkish. Oh, very nice. Did you get any good stuff in there for the Turks? Uh, Dogan, lovely chap he is. How did you get anything good? Yeah. Get any good stuff? What did you get? A couple of helicopters. Anything nice? What did you, what did you, buying or seller? Buyer or seller? Who are you? Both, both. Both buying and selling. <laughs> Fantastic. What about, where, what country are you from, sir? Do you mind? Egypt. You're from Egypt. Oh, they love a good old bit of kit out in Egypt, didn't they? Did you get anything good in there? A couple of tanks, maybe? Get some fantastic aeroplanes off the Egyptians. Oh, they do like a bit of the old uh, arms, don't they, the Egyptians? Yes. Marvellous. <laughs> now, they're only letting you in here, by the way, if you're a dodgy. <laughs> You can't get in unless you're, do you're not dodgy enough, you can't get in. No, you are, so obviously, clearly. Beautifully dressed. My goodness, who said that criminals don't wear suits? <laughs> uh, beautifully dressed in there. Are you with them? Can I ask you, the police officers, are you with them or with us? Who are you with? Oh, uh, bit of silence there. And uh, we have some more arms dealers, beautifully dressed arms dealers. Look at that, so fantastic, absolutely fabulous. Can I ask you, what we, how was the day today? Was it any good? What did you manage? You buying or selling? Selling. You're both buying and selling. What did you sell, sir? Did you sell any nice equipment? What did you, any of the latest? Weapons. Weapons? What weapons, sir? Where are you from? Bulgaria. Bulgaria. Fantastic. They do like a bit of the old kit in Bulgaria, don't they? Did you any, what did you buy for the old Bulgarians? Did you buy any torture equipment? Ladies and gentlemen, I'm looking for some torture equipment. Me and my wife are into that type of thing. Did you manage to get any torture equipment when you were out there? What's in your bag, actually? You've just come out of there. Do you mind? The... Looks rather big. We've got some arms. Oh, we've got another arms dealer with some sunglasses as well. How beautifully turned out for an arms dealer. You know, what they say about arms dealers, usually you think you'd expect something far less sophisticated. So tell me, did you buy or sell it? Look, he's got little missiles on his tie. He's got missiles on his tie. <laughs> Brilliant. Tell me, what did you buy or sell today? Uh, I didn't sell arms, I sold legs. You sold legs today. Very good, yes. Maybe to try. You probably did sell legs. 
you know, to stick back on the people who had them blown off by all the other stuff sold here. That's right, brilliant. Sell the bombs and sell the prosthetics, eh? Get them at both ends. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, look, we have here a whole host of arms dealers to talk to. Look at this guy here. Wow, Mr. Cool. Did you buy or sell? Can you get us a taxi? Do you want a taxi? Yes, Can you get this arms dealer a taxi, please? I'd hurry up if I were you. He's got lots of arms and he'll kill you if you don't hurry up. Get the arms dealer a taxi immediately. You know, when you come out of an arms fair, what do they give you? A couple of grenades and a little gun. Here you are. Take this home. Kill the wife if she annoys you. My goodness, I wouldn't like to be married to one of you. You've been arms dealers. I'd be scared, wouldn't I, to do anything wrong. Sizes, what a lovely tie. Is that a kind of tie that arms dealers wear usually? Nice bright tie, you know, makes you stop thinking about all the children that die as a result of buying all your arms. Just think about the lovely colourful tie. How was it today, sir? Did you sell anything good? Yeah. What were you doing in there? I'm from motorsport. Motorsport? What's that got to do with arms industry? Uh, don't tell me I've come on the wrong day and it's all motorsport today and these people have nothing to do with arms. Uh, this ruined my whole film. Are you not really arms dealers then? <laughs> oh dear. Um, I've got the wrong way. Are you an arms dealer? They're trying to talk to arms dealers. Are you an arms dealer? Uh, I sell fluffy rabbits. You sell fluffy rabbits. It's amazing how many people are selling all sorts of funny things. Puppies and fluffy rabbits. But look how charming these arms dealers. You know what guys? I think it's unfair the press that you get. Some people say that it's extremely immoral to it's extremely immoral to make your business out of selling loads of weaponry that ends up killing and maiming millions of people around the world. And I think that's not right because you look like a pretty decent bunch of people that wouldn't sell. Well, actually, you probably would sell your grandmother's. Wouldn't you? <laughs> but uh, anyway, oh look at this. But uh, anyway, oh look at this. Love How, what were you doing in there today, madam? Can I ask you what were you buying, selling? None of your business. None of my business. Oh, correct. Yes, it probably is none of my business. You don't want to tell me, in other words. When did you, I'd like to ask the people here, when did you first thought, think, I'd really like to sell bombs, weapons and missiles? That's what we'd like to know. When did it first occur to you, yes, that's a great way to spend my life. <coughs> Quick question for you. When did it first realise that you wanted to be involved with the selling and buying of weaponry? Was it early in your childhood, or kind of did you sort of come to the realisation? What about you, sir? When did you start thinking about selling weaponry? Have you been doing it for a while? <laughs> what do you tell your children you do? What is a person who sells and buys weapons that could be used for child soldiers and torture stuff? What, what does a person like that tell their children that they actually do at work, madam? Sir, security and policing he's got on his thing. Security and policing, of course. Oh, thank God for thank God for the arms dealers. Can you imagine what a terrible mess the world would be in if there weren't any of you guys here? It'd be awful. <coughs> oh, that's, oh, hello. What a lot of charming-looking arms dealers. When did you first want to become involved in the arms industry? At what age did you first think? I know, I'll do. I'll become in the arms industry. When did you first? When did you first think of that, madam? Is it something as a kid you thought to yourself, when I'm older? I want to sell weapons, I want to sell missiles, I want to sell bombs, <laughs> I want to sell drones when I'm out of When did you first realise that the arms industry was where you wanted to devote your life to? Five days ago. Five days ago. <laughs> Maybe it's not too late for you to reconsider, I don't know. So how do you sleep at night, you guys, can I ask you? How the hell do you sleep at night? What? Yeah, but you're involved in the arms industry. You surely know where, the, where the, all this ends up and what it ends up doing. Killing people and hurting people. Uh, you don't sleep at night? Job. Oh, it's a job. Okay. Go up there, because we're trying to work up the Oh, you're trying to work? You think I should annoy them up there? Okay, I'm so sorry. So, ladies and gentlemen, that's what we're asking you today is how on earth do you sleep at night, bearing in mind what you do? Soldier, how do you actually sleep at night? Do you mind my asking? How do you sleep at night? being involved in the arms industry. Like didn't? a child. Like a child, do you? Well, you don't have any conscience about it at all? That's weird. What about you, sir? How do you sleep at night? Well, do you take any medication? Yeah. Well, you can just sleep. You're involved in the arms trade and you don't have a, you don't have a conscience. Doesn't it keep you up at night thinking about all the children that might die so you can make your living and sell weapons? You guys, how do you sleep at night? Yeah? You don't have any, like, issues... No, the, I mean, the, the, not, does nobody here have at least some kind of moral questions going on the back of your mind? Am I doing the right thing? No one? No one got any questions? <laughs> so, 
So ladies and gentlemen, I welcome here to the uh, end of another day at the wonderful Abu Dhabi National... How was business today, may I ask you? Have you got a job? Have I got a job? Can I get one in the arms trade, do you think? You certainly can. Do you think I could? Yeah, I'd be quite good. Anybody, ladies and gentlemen, I've got some fantastic drones. Uh, we're getting them two for one today. Would you like a couple of drones? They can kill people hundreds of miles away. And don't, you don't have to worry about due process. It's fantastic. You just send them over to another country, somebody you don't like. And you can just kill them, ladies and gentlemen. I've got some drones on sale today. To, would you like to buy some drones? Kill some of your enemies? Are interested in some drones? We've got some fantastic technology. We brought the price per kill down to just $60, ladies and gentlemen. You can kill hundreds of people for under $10,000. Would you like to buy drones, sir? No? Humanitarian. You're humanitarian? Yes. What do you sell? Machines that take explosive mines. Takes out explosive mines. Machines that take out explosive mines. Yes, I know, but how did the mines get there in the first place? By these guys selling them. They sell mines in here and then they sell machines that take out the mines. Brilliant. They've got it all completely covered here. Anyway, how was business today? How did you get any? What did you sell by? Uh, trying to buy. You're trying to buy? What are you trying to buy? Uh, night vision goggles. Night vision goggles. Oh, fantastic! Really? Are you, what, what, what's so good about see? Oh, you, and who are you going to sell them to? Obviously, you're going to sell them eventually, right? Yeah, of course. Yeah, who to? To the Air Sea Rescue Service in Japan. To the Air Sea Rescue Service in Japan. You're just the type of per no wonder you came to speak to me. You're the type of person that ruins my films by being the complete exception to the rule. Yes, and they. Are. Fair enough. All right then, go on. Thank you. You can escape now. He's the only person that stopped to speak to me, the only one that's actually doing something that's probably quite good. Sure anyway. I mean, how do you feel around arms dealers, sir? Do you feel comfortable? Yes. yes, you do? You don't feel any discomfort with people who make money out of things that kill loads of people, including children? You don't have any discomfort about that at all? No, there's another half that does a bit of disaster management. What's that? They do a bit of disaster management. Is that quite nice? Disaster management? Yeah, arms don't kill people. Uh, people do. Uh, that's true. Arms don't kill people. People do. Good point. And your point is, <laughs> politicians kill people. That's true. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, politicians do kill people. That's true. Lancasters and Spitfires, which is and so do Lancasters and Spitfires. What? Freedom of speech. Uh, okay. And okay, fair enough. Thanks, the Lancaster and Spitfires. You're right. Without all these wonderful arms dealers, I'm sure that the world would be an awful place. Really, I'm sure it'll be terrible. So thank you very much for selling all the arms. It's fantastic. Fantastic, really good work today. Anyway, um, I am actually selling uh, some equipment off cheap. We've, um, we've got a special deal on hand grenades and uh, stun guns. Would you like some hand grenades and stun guns at uh, knockdown prices? No? What are you dealing? Uh, inflatable walls. Inflatable walls, he deals with. <laughs> inflatable walls. <laughs> Probably does as well. You can, get, you can get some fantastic kit in there, I'll tell you, you'll love it in there. How are you doing? I haven't seen you for ages. Yeah, long time no see. Yeah. What are you doing around here with come, these dodgy come down people? Come see you, what is going on? Isn't it interesting how many police there are yeah. around these people? I wonder why. Somebody mm. pays us the money. Yeah, I wonder why they here. need so many police to protect them. They do, mate. Mm. We've had one person who's saying, can you not, because sort of, they're a bit wary of you putting a thing in their face. Yeah, okay, right. yeah, as sure, sure, sure. As soon as somebody sure. goes like that, it's yeah, yeah. going to be classed as sure, an sure, assault, sure. isn't it? So you'll be... Yeah, 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 no, no, I can do that, so yeah. So if you be can sort of do your stuff, but... Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, no problem. Brilliant. All right, mate. Okay. Nice to see you. All good, anyway. What's you going on with the, um, the old sort of... What? You know, protesting days, because like, it's a bit quiet these I, days, isn't it? I know. Not many of you. Happened. They've obviously shut them up somehow. <laughs> well, they've realised they've realised that protesting is a complete waste of time. Yeah. Protesting is like begging. You know. Yeah. Imagine if you'd have protested in Nazi Germany. It's the same same here. You can't protest. They don't care. They're, they're, they carry Do on. Do you not think that people are changing though, and that they don't care so much? There's very few people that, that care. care. It's difficult to know. It's, it's difficult to know. Yeah. I think yeah, a lot of people just don't care anymore. Yeah. Right. Nice to see you.